Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use return statements in C Sharp methods. So, in C Sharp, a method is basically just a little um, block of code which is designed to perform a specific task. And in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how we could create a very simple method that would say hi to the user. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how we can use another feature of C Sharp methods, which is the return keyword. And basically what we can do is inside of these methods, we can return values back to the callers. So I'm going to show you guys how this works and we'll kind of get an idea of what this is and what it does. So down here in my program, you'll notice I have my main method over here and I'm actually going to create another method. So I'm going to come down here below the main method and I want to create a method which is going to cube a number. So when you cube a number, you basically take it to the third power. So two raised to the third power is the same as two times two times two, right? So we would say that this is two cubed. So what I want to do is actually create a method that will uh, take as a parameter. So take as an argument one number and then it'll cube it and it'll actually return that number back to the caller. So this is going to be kind of cool. So remember, whenever we're creating a method, we need to say static. And like I said, I'm going to explain what static is and what it does later in the tutorial. Um, but for now, just know that whenever you're creating a method uh, here next to this main method, because main is such a special method, um, I'm also going to use this static keyword for the new method that I create. Then the next thing I need to tell C Sharp is going to be the return type. And in the last tutorial, we used this void return type, which basically meant we weren't going to return any information. But now what I want to do is I want to actually specify a particular data type that we're going to return. So in our case, why don't we just say we're going to return an integer. So now what I want to do is give this method a name. So I'm just going to say cube. So it's going to be called cube because it's cubing a number. I'm going to make an open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket inside of this parentheses. What I want to do is specify a parameter. So this cube method is going to take one parameter and it's going to be an integer and we're just going to call it num. So num is going to be the number that they pass in. And eventually what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to return to them the value of num cubed. So what I can do down here is I can make an integer and I'm just going to say int and we'll call it result. And I want to set result equal to the cubed value of num. In order to get that, we can just say num times num times num. And so now this variable result is going to have num times num times num stored in it. In other words, it's going to have the num cubed stored inside of it. Now, what I want to do is use a special keyword in C sharp called return. And whenever we put this keyword inside of a method, this is basically going to tell the method that we want to return a piece of information back to the caller. And also this return keyword is going to break us out of the method. So over here, what I can do is I can just say return result. So I'm going to go ahead and return this result variable that we just created back to the caller. Now let's go up here in our main method and actually call this method. So what I want to do is I'm just going to call it. So I'm going to say cube and I'll pass in a number. Let's pass in five. So now I'm going to go ahead and run my program and we'll see what happens. So you'll see my program ran, but I mean, nothing really happened, right? There was no output. There really, you know, there was no errors, but really nothing happened. Here's the thing though. If I was to come over here and say console dot right line, if I printed out this method, in other words, if I printed out calling this method, you'll see, we're actually going to print out result. We're actually going to print out the value of cubing these numbers. So over here, I just said console dot right line. And inside of here, I'm printing out cube five. Now, when I run my program, you'll see we're printing out 125. Basically, what happened was when I use this return keyword down here, that returned the value back over to this method. So then when I called the method, it, it was actually given the value of 125. And that is extremely useful. And that's basically a way that we can get a piece of information back from a method. Just to further illustrate this point, I want to create another example. So down here, I'm going to make an integer and I'm just going to call it cubed number and I'm going to set it equal to cube five. So I'm actually setting this variable equal to cube five. Now I could print out. Q 
cubed number and you'll see we're going to get that value 125 back. And so that's essentially what we're able to do. We're able to return a value back from this method. In addition to returning an integer, we could return anything. So if I wanted, I could return a string or a double, or I could even return like an array of doubles, right? Something like that. So you can really return any value that you want back from these methods. But returning information can be extremely useful and you're definitely gonna wanna use it inside of your C Sharp methods. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.